Each individual has a corresponding role in the world of information technology. Every action you make should be accompanied by responsibility to avoid facing possible problems in using respective computer system. Hello guys, I'm Jeffrey Antonico Diaz and you're watching The Significance of Old School Technology. This video is very important for me as an information technologist that we need to give enough attention. Why? Maybe because we need to see how certain computer policy works. How unwanted application works on our respective computer. This makes us think that there are so many restrictions to the flow of the operating system. To really understand what I want all of you to know, let's talk about registry. The registry is a database in Windows that contains important information about system hardware, installed programs and settings, and profiles of each of the user accounts on your computer. Windows continually refer to the information in the registry. You should not need to make manual changes to the registry because programs and applications typically make all the necessary changes automatically. An incorrect change to your computer's registry could render your computer inoperable. However, if a corrupt file appears in the registry, you might be required to make changes. It is strongly recommended that you back up the registry before making any changes and that you only change values in the registry that you understand or have been instructed to change by a source you trust. Before we proceed further, let us first discuss the following terminologies. Registry Hives It is a logical group of keys, subkeys, and values in the registry that has a set of supporting files containing backups of its data. Structure of the Registry It is a hierarchical database that contains data that is critical for the operation of Windows and the applications and services that run on Windows. The data is structured in a tree format. Each node in the tree is called a key. Each key can contain both subkeys and data entries called values. Sometimes, the presence of a key is all the data that an application requires. Other times, an application opens a key and uses the values associated with the key. A key can have any number of values, and the values can be in any form. Each key has a name consisting of one or more printable characters. Key names are not case sensitive. Key names cannot include the backslash character, but any other printable character can be used. Value names and data can include the backslash character. The name of each subkey is unique with respect to the key that is immediately above it in the hierarchy. Key names are not localized into other languages, although values may be. Here are some of the most commonly used keyboard functions of Registry Editor.
To begin this activity, launch registry editor and then modify the following settings. If user account control appears, click the yes button. Note, make sure to remember the default settings before changing the value data. To take effect the changes you have made, close the registry editor and then log off the computer. As you can see, the tricks are working! Now, let's try to remove the configured value. If user account control appears, click the yes button. As always, to take effect the changes you have done, close the registry editor and then log off the computer. As you can see, the computer is running in normal mode. Warning! 
In this part of registry modification, your computer may no longer be normal. So be very more careful and observant in doing this simple practice. To proceed with this feature, launch Registry Editor. If User Account Control appears, click the Yes button. Note, make sure to remember the default settings before changing the value data. Now, let's try to change the letter L to the vertical bar. To take effect the changes you have made, Close the registry editor and then sign out the computer. As you can see, this is not a joke. Your computer doesn't work properly. These are common problems of some students and teachers at the time when they are busy. So for your assignment, what if this happens on your respective computer? How would you deal with this problem, especially if you have plenty of important and confidential files stored on it? So that's all for today. I hope you don't get discouraged in times of trouble. May this activity serve as an eye-opener that every possible mistake you have made causes a serious problem to your computer system. God bless us and see you in my next video.